think I probably have to go back and watch some. Just remember. She said it's the best she's ever walked in her entire life. Oh, yeah. And remember, this dog is two years old. Yeah. So we're moving her heel knowledge out into public. So we've moved to a neighborhood in the back alleys just to practice walking somewhere other than the training room and the training yard where we've got squirrels climbing trees, unexpected cars and dogs, and just to really solidify that heel position. Nice work. Good job. I feel like right there, that was so subtle, but she went back into an old pattern of like, it was so subtle, but dragging a little bit to find a scent. She can't do that when she's in heel. She's got to realize she needs to wait until she's released to go sniff and potty. And she will be released for free time. Think of the heel as traveling in the car. Wait until you're out of the car to use the bathroom, walk around. You sit. Good girl. Break. There it is. There's the release. So now she's out of heel, so we're actually teaching her how to take her breaks. Once she hears the beep, it'll be back to work. into that groove, getting back into that pocket. The pattern is tap the tone, say the word, tap your leg, and start walking. And then you just hold her accountable for staying within the boundary. Unexpected things like that are why we drive to neighborhoods. Because we're not going to get that in our front yard. Looking around, let this truck sit there. 